Indiana Tech focuses on relationship-based education. And I believe that's important because I think that there needs to be a great relationship between faculty and students. I think Indiana Tech is definitely very student focused. Uh, all of our class sizes are very small, especially in biomedical engineering. My class size that I'll graduate with is maybe 10 kids and we're all very close. Not only do the students kind of support each other, but the faculty definitely back that up as well. I love teaching. I love interacting with the students. It's a lot of fun. All of them are so unique and you develop personal relationships with them and get really involved in their lives and I enjoy that part of it. So we have amazing faculty to be honest. Um, all our professors are really kind and they have like close relationship with, uh, with the students and that's helped a lot. When I toured here I met Jack and um, ever since then I was kind of hooked. My choice was made right there. And just his personality and seeing the resources we'd have as well as his passion for the subject. Well, we'll ask him questions and he'll look at us and say, figure it out and we'll struggle through it for two weeks and he'll come back and we'll have some sort of something put together and he'll kind of guide us in the right direction but in the end he's like I'm glad that you figured that out by yourself and when that translates into industry I found that it's easier for me to be able to go and figure things out by myself and kind of get my own resources to help pull together a project. I think because you have those personal relationships uh, you get the sense that they definitely care about you sort of as a, as a person too which is which is nice and certainly because it's rigorous it's nice to have people who are who are supportive and who are willing to kind of work with you and sit down with you and help you academically but are also just kind of willing to have a conversation with you. I'm also the biomedical engineering advisor at Indiana Tech and for the students in the program I help them choose their courses that they take each semester to ensure that they are completing the program appropriately. You can always go to an instructor and say I'm not understanding this can you go over it with me again and all the instructors here are very willing to spend time to help the student along to get to where they need to be. The program is definitely rigorous um, it's certainly a lot to take in, a lot of information that you're studying every night, and the classes are theoretically can be challenging, especially some of the math classes. This program stands out for a number of reasons. The people is probably the biggest reason, but what we do in terms of our classes, many people don't use cadavers anymore, and so our anatomy and physiology is always cadaver-based, and so students get a really unique experience with that that they don't get at other universities. Being in the biomedical field, I feel it's really important to get to know the human body as close as possible. So starting out on our freshman year, we have the opportunity to work with cadavers and Indiana Tech gets two cadavers every year, a male and a female. So right off the bat when you come to college, you're getting that real world experience that not many students get to experience. You can learn things from pictures, you can see basic organization, but anatomy and physiology is all about feel. So if you can't touch it, you're never going to understand the difference between a muscle and connective tissue or between an artery and a vein. So I always tell my students if they can't do this with their eyes closed, then they don't know it very well. I'm a firm believer that you learn by working with things. And I encourage that in most of the courses that I teach. So there's always a component where you're touching something and seeing relationships between inputs and outputs or features. And I believe that's the best way to learn. There's theory to learn, but there's application of theory that to me is extremely beneficial as well. I'm doing an aortic heart valve replacement and I go to interviews and I bring my prototypes and they're like, wow, you designed this? I'm like, yes, I did. And like, were you in a big group or did you have anyone working with you? And I was like, no, I'm by myself. So last summer, um, I did some work with Case Western Reserve in Cleveland. They were kind of working on using polymers for biomedical applications. So in this one in particular, they were trying to see if they could come up with a prosthetic nerve. They were focusing really more on the theoretical side of things, um, especially at Case, that's that's sort of the focus of the of the major. But here with the practical skills, I was able to go in and, and kind of use my knowledge with CAD and with some computer programming skills and help them develop their experiment further, which was which was a really nice way to combine our skills. 
Having Indiana Tech located in, next to Warsaw, the orthopedics capital of the world, is definitely a huge benefit uh, when going into graduating because we're almost like the first line of people that get to look at those jobs. Also, our advisors are very close with the people that do work in Warsaw, so they're always giving us the best recommendation. And having that exposure, getting to see what's going on inside gives you a huge advantage in interviews because you already know what they're doing. So my senior project this year is a electromechanical intrauterine device. It's a birth control implant. And basically what happens is there's a film over the hormone walls for the IUD. And at a certain time, on a certain day, it'll send a current to that film and thermally ablate it and release the hormone into your system. After I graduate, uh, I'd like to go to medical school. I got to see the surgeon that did one of my surgeries perform on cadaver specimens, and I was just in awe. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen, honestly. My end goal in my career is to be an orthopedic surgeon. I'm really interested in foot and ankle. I'd like to do sports medicine as well. I've always been interested in the medical field, but definitely being an athlete and seeing the different injuries that people go through, I'm interested in trying to find ways to make them better, I guess. Being here has provided me with a lot more resources than I thought I would ever get, and probably that I would get at a bigger school because your professors care about you so much more and the class sizes are smaller, so you get a lot more of the resources and independence to learn what you want to learn.